out your name Love, see if you the same What is going on guys, it's your boy Marvel Joker and I'm here again with another tutorial But today's tutorial will be about how to change text in Blender for like say you have templates and stuff like that I'll be showing you how to change the text in this tutorial and render it and uh, if you like show up in any different parts of where you can change the text um, So yeah um, Let's see which one should I use, I usually use frag out this is one of my engines I had before. If you spawn in, like what, like what spawn in really? Why I keep saying that? If you come in and you're like this, like out of the camera, just hit zero on your keyboard and it'll take you right into the camera. I would play it, but it gets really laggy and doesn't follow the beat. But uh, this is what it looks like. Uh... <laughs> Uh, so that's what it looks like and by the way these are not my intros at all these are templates I got from uh, YouTube these are not mine I did not make any of these nor am I saying I did uh, so yeah but anyways let's get right back into the tutorial so you want to get somewhere where you can see the text like right here in my case it's at like around 100 so you want to right click on your text hit tab and delete your text right there type in your text uh, hit tab again to confirm it and if you see this like the other text not changed just hit just right click on that text hit tab again and type in the same thing the exact same way you typed it by the way uh, so mine's uh, uppercase lowercase uppercase lowercase uppercase just because I like the way it looks and uh, once you have that done you know, oh if your text is too small like say I mean or too big just hit S on your keyboard and move it down or up or in and out you can resize it so like say your text is that big just like you can resize it perfect uh, so yeah uh, after you have that done you want to come over here if you don't have this part say like you're just um, with like that uh, you're not gonna be able to pull this out but what you can do is go up here and hit default no matter what you're on and like if you're not on this screen where you can see your text and stuff say you're on um, that or where is it or that just hit 3d view right here on this bottom part right here and say to this part and uh, yeah so what you want to do is you want to come over here click on this where it says right here under output and you have to go to the little camera over here go to output hit this hit, um, I always render mine to h.264 just because like it works for me then you want to come down here into encoding make sure this is uh, the same thing h.264 down here make sure that's on mp3 then over here click on this file you can render it to wherever you want I always save on the desktop so let's say I'm just gonna name it tut so I guess I'm some wrong but okay <laughs> okay so once you have that done you have your text nice and placed so you want it everything like say you don't like your font just go over here to this F right here and click on this one right here um, oh, don't worry about that Load. Okay, I have my fonts uh, saved to my desktop, so that's why mine are right here. But I don't know where yours will be. It might be in like your C drive. Just like click on this one. Uh, try to find your fonts. Me personally, I recommend always saving your fonts to your desktop, just cause it's easier access. And um, let me find a good font here. Mm. Excuse my mouse. Uh, I'll use Gothic. So now if you see I changed the text, it changed. Uh, I could also change it uh, like the style too. Like here, see how it's a little small, I don't like it. I didn't just, oh, oh, um, okay, there we go. I can just change it, then just resize it right there. So yeah, that's how I basically do that. Um, if you want to change the other one, just right click it as well. Right click the second one and just hit do the same process over and over again. Well, until you have both fonts or whatever text, how um, many text you have, changed to your liking. And then as soon as you have that done, uh, you want to render it. Go over here, if leave it at what it's at for now. Leave it at that, and uh, just hit Control F on your keyboard and this screen will pop up. I'm not gonna render it just because it's too much to render. 
but uh if it doesn't work say it comes up with an error up here just change it hit it there and click it to blender render and try it again and if you if it doesn't render um if it doesn't render it's uh, either your system is like uh doesn't have a good graphics card or something like that i know because they did it with me with one of my intros that tried to render it was a sick intro and they said um something i checked it out and it said something about my graphics card i don't know what but anyways thanks guys for, uh, thank you guys for watching i hope this trail was helpful um you know like comment and subscribe if our new like daily content well not daily I'd probably say like monthly I'm not as active because as you guys know it is summer and I'm out finally and I spend most of my time graphic designing or like out with like some friends and stuff like that but uh, thank you guys for watching. Outside in the